Hello again, Psycho friends. Welcome to the second episode of Psycho CDP and personalized learning sessions. This is Ahmed El Yamani, Engagement Cloud Evangelist in Psycho. As we previously mentioned, this series of sessions cover business values and technical features for Psycho Engagement Cloud, including CDP, personalized, and marketing automation. Throughout the last episode, we had an introduction and an overview about Sitecore Composable DXP and the where Sitecore Personalized sit in that world. In today's session, we are talking about experiences and personalization. We will have an introduction to personalization generally, what does it mean and why it's important. And then we'll talk about Sitecore experiences and how to configure and build Sitecore experiences within Sitecore Personalize. As a quick recap, these are the main clouds inside Sitecore Composable Digital Experience Platform, Composable DXP, content, commerce, and customer engagement. As previously mentioned, customer engagement cloud is where Sitecore CDP and Personalize live with them. And of course, these products are composable, means that they are API first, ready to integrate with each other, and they can also integrate with other marketing applications. So after the introduction, let's talk about today's topic, which is the experiences. Everyone is talking about how customer experience is so much important in increasing conversions and driving revenue. So before going deeper in today's topic, let's try to define experiences, which also requires us to define personalization. So getting back to the English dictionary, personalization is making things personal, you know, like meeting individuals' requirements. According to Sitecore, Personalization starts by understanding customers' intent, unique profiles, and then delivering messages offers experiences relevant to these users. So let's say we are running a travel agency website, and we know that there are some guests interested in traveling to South Europe. Every time these users visit our website, they should be served with content that matches their, their needs. So if we get back to say, Core CDP and Personalize, we find that experiences is the tool that we use to build personalization. Another term to differentiate and not to get confused with is experiments. Experiments is another tool that allows us to test different personalization experiences to decide which, which personalization works best with our clients before deciding permanently this is what we want to get fixed. So before going deeper into today's details, I'd like to give a quick introduction, an overview on what can be done with set code experiences. So to give a quick high-level introduction on the experience types available inside the product, firstly, we have the web experiences, which is a total client-side integration where you can inject HTML, CSS, JavaScript on the top of your rendered content. In this great way, you can set up experiences really quickly with limited IT resources, so it's, so it's marketer-friendly, and you can see what you are building as you are going. You don't configure API calls setup, you don't call Sitecore CTP application, all that is handled for you. You just need to configure the basic integration steps with Sitecore CDP, and then marketers can easily inject personalized content or components on the website. On the other hand, we have the whole stack web experiences, which manages API responses to your online channels. There are many reasons why would you use full stack experience. Some of them are mentioned here. For example, including reference to third party systems or content management systems. Or maybe you need to handle the render of the API response yourself to maintain, for example, the search engine optimization standards or to prevent possible JavaScript flickers on the user interface. So basically, you get a lot of flexibility with the full stack experiences. And there is, of course, a possibility to combine both. You can, for example, have full stack experience to render server side stuff on your website and also have web experiences rendering content or, or UI components directly to your website. Also, because we are talking about experience types, I'd like to explain two other definitions. So when we build the full stack experience, we get two choices, either interactive or triggered experience. Triggered experiences are APIs, which fire when certain event happens, which support different marketing automation scenarios. A classic example for this would be a user abandons a shopping cart, and you would like this to fire an event to send, any message, to send a message, for example, or an email, to remind them of their abandoned card. On the other hand, interactive experiences happens when users interact with the website, basically. So they are normal personalization in a sense. So experiences would display to the customers when they are visiting the website would be called interactive experiences. In the next part, I'll give you a quick introduction to the steps you need to take if you want to build a site core experience. Firstly, you should decide upfront. If you want to build a web interactive or triggered experience, 
This would be based on what you want to do. On the right part here, we can see content. However, you can either design content part from scratch, or you can go with a template that been pre-built for you. Rebuilt templates allow marketers to build personalization really quickly. Without a lot of knowledge in CSS or HTML, they can configure design elements or edit the content that should show in the experience. The next field is page targeting, where you can choose the pages of the website where the experience should show up on. In audience, I can limit the experience to certain audience with filters. Then you can configure decisioning, where we will be talking about in details another session of this series. And finally goals, which allow you to track effectiveness, outcomes, and analytics for your experience based on your targets. If we move to the interactive experience UI, the main output we are the main output and the main difference we are seeing here is the API response. So you may edit the response using free marker JavaScript template, which we have different sessions recorded by our development advocates team explaining how to use free markers to build site core personalized templates. And again, you can configure audience filter, decisioning, and the goals for the experience to measure. And last but not least, this is a triggered experience UI. So the idea behind triggered experiences basically is sending content somewhere when a specific event triggers. You start by creating webhooks, which is an API response to a connection we choose to send the output to as part of the triggered experience. For example, if we are configuring the abandoned card email message response we've been just talking about, we'll need to choose an email service provider to distribute email message for this webhook. This would be where we want to send that content to. Another part I'd like to, to give a quick introduction to is analytics. Firstly, you get the performance analytics, which is your way to know if the personalization is working or not. That's why you are always recommended to attach goals to the experience. Performance analytics will let you know if the personalization is working up to your targets. So maybe your target audience will like your personalization in the beginning, then they will start bouncing back. You need to keep your eye on that. Operation analytics alternatively will let you know information like how many times your personalization had run, is it working fine, is there any personalization errors, etc. So when you personalize with site core experiences, you actually get the very important strategic long-term segmentation and continuous A-B testing methodologies, which we might talk about in different sessions. But also you can get some quick wins from applying personalization. These are the highlighted practices that you can start off your personalization journey with as soon as you subscribe to site core personalize. You can find more details on these quick wins through the link here on the screen. So with this, I'd like to thank everyone who's watching our session today for their attention. Please stay tuned for the next session where we will be talking about Psychore experiments. We'll be covering a lot of interesting details about A-B testing capabilities in Psychore CDP and Personalize. And as usual, I'd encourage you to leave your comments and feedback on the video here or please post your questions on Sitecore CDP community channels. Thank you and see you next time.